I'm Dale Smith for Looney Politics, and this last week we saw accusations during question period that the federal government is somehow holding uh, Canadians hostage when it comes to not increasing healthcare transfers. Uh, there's been a lot of questions about crises in emergency rooms across the country and the expectation that the federal government needs to do something about it, particularly sending more money to the provinces. The problem is, is that it's not really the federal government holding hostages, it's the provinces. The provinces have been engaged in a fairly transparent campaign of essentially engineering a crisis in the healthcare system in order to strong arm the federal government into sending them those increased transfers without any strings attached. The federal government has no interest in doing that because um, we have seen this play out before in terms of they increase the transfers, the provinces, put a small portion of that towards the system. It props up the status quo for a little while longer. Meanwhile, they use the rest of that money to fund other priorities or tax cuts, which we have also seen provinces do. The federal government wants to break this particular cycle. And that's why the healthcare negotiations that were uh, taking place last week had some strings attached around data. And why that's important is because they want common metrics around the country so that we can measure the impact that the increased federal funding would have. Therefore, ensuring that it goes towards actually fixing things in the system and not propping up the status quo. But the premiers have balked at this. And unfortunately, legacy media has largely sided with them because there's this strange belief that any time a single federal dollar turns uh, is delivered to a program, then it suddenly becomes a federal responsibility. But that's not how the system works at all. The federal government can't dictate how those federal dollars are spent in a province. And so that's why they're trying to attach these outcomes to it. That way that there's a way of seeing that the money is actually going toward what it's supposed to and not just funding tax cuts. So we're kind of in this spot where the provinces think that they've got the leverage because they are trying to essentially win the PR war. Legacy media is basically allowing them to do this by not making it clear that we know the history of what happens when transfers go up without strings attached and by not necessarily making it known that the problems that provinces are facing in emergency rooms are the result of provincial decisions. So that's where we are. This is what the stakes are. And we need to essentially call out that the provinces are the one holding the, holding the hostages, not the federal government. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.